attempting to find a versatile air inflation system for my Tacoma that I can use on other vehicles allows me to pump up multiple tires, whether I want one, two, three, or four, wasn't prone to leaking, was easy to roll up into a small bag, was able to split in half so that I can loan out half of the hose to someone else, something that wouldn't bind up or kink so easily, and a cool fitting to run pneumatic tools, all this and more, right here, right now. Welcome to the build. Here's a quick rundown of parts I used. Total build cost me rounding up about $180. Yes, there are cheaper options out there, but nothing that is gonna function as versatile as this. Out on the trails, the question always comes up, what air inflation system do you have? And nobody seems to be 100% confident in their system, but today, that all changes, starting now. Did a mock-up, we laid the hose out. Uh, every car is gonna be a little bit different. Uh, but this is how you do it. You just make sure that this piece on the end is behind the tire so you have plenty of space. Or what I'm told is this it should be able to reach there. But we got a little extra space here. Uh, and we're gonna put some thread compound here to make it uh, nice and airtight. And then we're gonna do a cut here and insert these pieces here. So uh, this will fit over here. This one will sit here then uh, we're gonna have to add a hose here and that'll go here and then this will go to the tire there. And then here, we're gonna make sure both sides are equal length and then we'll probably cut it like here and here, something like that and use the extra cording to create a line that goes to my air compressor, which is in my hood there. We created a little attachment point here. Just like the other driver tire, we're gonna cut here. But what's really cool about this side, what I'm excited about, is we have a different fitting on the end here. And then this just goes straight in there. But if you had a power tool, then you just pop this off, and now you got an air hose. And this hose is long enough to reach all the way around my truck. So I'm gonna be able to use the pneumatics to get the wheels off or any type of roadside repair. Now it should save a lot of time and it's fun.
All right, here's a quick walk around. There's plenty of extra space here, so you could use it on a bigger truck. These kind of reinforce the line so they don't, don't get bent up. We have it connected to the air compressor. Same thing on this side, but this, that's pretty fancy because now I could detach it from the chuck and attach a pneumatic tool here. A lot of you might say I can't run a pneumatic tool with my air compressor. And you would be right, unless you saw this. I have a little air tank. It doesn't do wonders, but it's enough for me to get these big old heavy duty lugs off my tires. I'm gonna unplug it all and just deflate it and inflate it after that, just to show you guys how fast it deflates uh, and how fast it inflates with this product because this is a faster, larger bore in the hose. So everything should be a little bit faster. This isn't how I normally deflate, but um, I usually need to help people deflate. Not everybody has a deflating system. And this is what I typically use to deflate. You just screw them onto your wheel and you can set the PSI based on how much you back this cap out. But, uh, and I'll put a link in the description below if that's something, it's nice and small. Uh, definitely works very well. Um, but now, if somebody needs to use this, they can pass it around and use it while I just hook up my truck and deflate this way. Let's see what it looks like deflating. All right, current tire pressure is at 35 PSI. We're about to get the test started here. And, oh. Usually it takes about two minutes to air my tires down, so this will be very interesting. Just over a minute and a half, and it looks like all the tires are deflating pretty evenly. All right, let's see where we're at. So after about two minutes, if you didn't want to use tire deflators, you would actually be about 21 PSI on all your tires, nice and even, no headache. If you want to air down to 20 or lower PSI, you're going to need about two and a half minutes. Plus a disconnect right here, so that it's for easy storage and, uh, you know, when you're winding up your wires, it's pretty hard to not tangle them. So with this system here, it's one wire and it doesn't get tangled. Same thing with this other half here. It's pretty much one wire, so it doesn't get tangled. And what's really nice is it doesn't kink because they're on swivels. So that is a big plus, so that you can roll it up nice and easy and not accidentally kink your lines. So all of these are on swivels, every single one. It's gonna be nice and easy to use. Let's go ahead now and air it up and just see how that works. We're gonna air up and just see if, how long it takes uh, with this new hose system. I used to have the ARB uh, Indeflate system and uh, I don't know, there was a lot of leaks. All right, let's see how long this takes. I can say it's really quiet. I'm not hearing any air out of any of these parts yet. I think we're gonna run until two minutes. We'll turn it off, see where we're at. And then we'll see what the total time is to get us back up to 35. And two minutes. So let's see what our pressures are at here. It's nice and even, which is what I like. Um, if you can look at all the tire pressures, they're, they're nice spot on even. I would always worry about like the difference in tire pressure. So um, this way I don't have to worry about that anymore. See how long it takes uh, to get the tires all the way up to uh, 35 PSI. Looks like we're close. A little bit more there. So about four minutes. So about twice as long 
to air up your tires and to air down with the current setup I have. With these special valves here, I could actually air, air up only one tire if I wanted to. See, they don't leak. They seal, so it's not a problem. I still have the other two tires connected to this host system. Cause I can get up this way, or I can just unplug this and plug that into here. But either way I do it, even with these all disconnected, one connected. I'll take this one off actually. Uh, make sure you air off your hose system so that this doesn't shoot out like crazy. This one's pretty versatile. You disconnect it here. You can still use this whole hose system separately. So now I could give this hose system for someone else to air up. And then I could just use this system for myself. But even more, like, what's cooler than that, by having a little can, is that I can put this into my can. Just by turning this lever, I'm gonna fill up my air tank. And then I'm gonna use that air tank to do something even cooler. Check that out, it packs up real nicely. One of these smaller bags works. You got some room in the center for some snacks or if you want your deflation tools or whatever. Or if you wanna pack some tools in there, especially a pneumatic tool, cause now you got the right setup for it. Um, and I should say the pneumatic tool doesn't work as well without the air tank, but it does work. Um, just make sure you get something that could operate on a lower PSI. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe. Hit the like button. 99% of you guys aren't subscribed. It helps me out. If you like this, please become part of the community. And the sneak peek to uh, another truck that I'm going to try to get on the channel as much as possible. That one. Thanks for watching. And I've had better nights of sleep.